about during the story. More snow, Anthony, a little more, more powdery, less dirt, less chance of getting tossed. We could use some more snow for safer sledding. Actually. Hey, we have not had much, no. that's for sure. And the snow we had last week, Derek, I could, uh, I was just looking at it on this tower cam that uh, in between the, the roadways, the highways, uh, there's a lot of grass showing up once again. Uh, in certain locations, there's there's quite a bit of snow still out there, but uh, you need to get that fresh snow every so often to uh, freshen up the snowpack. Uh, certainly, we haven't been doing that because we're running 30 inches below where we should be for this time of year. Let's uh, take a look at the updated statistics. Uh, not quite 30 inches, but very close, and it will be there uh, once we get to January 12th, just a couple hours away. The average snow through January 11, 37.1 inches in GR. We've gotten 7.5. Last year at this time, we had received received 21.9 inches. So I think most of us are thinking back at last year and it was pretty much a non winner by the standards of uh, maybe what we thought of uh, years back, decades back and uh, even much lesser than that this year. Uh, record through January 11th, 88.2 inches from 19 52 folks so a far cry from that and I'm going out the next several days. This is actually through Sunday at 6 p.m. So about uh, six days out from now projected snow off the GFS model. If you know anything about weather forecasting, this is just a general look. This is not the uh, be all end all, but I do think there is going to be an opportunity for some light accumulations of snow through the day Friday into Saturday and Sunday. The uh, specifics on that not particularly clear right now. Probably the best chance is going to be Saturday or Sunday where the temps start to get uh, cold enough indeed for any light accumulations. We are not talking about any big systems. No, no big snowstorms anytime soon here within West Michigan. Uh, in fact, overnight tonight, it's all about the freezing mist that is to start coming about here uh, late evening and for the overnight mist or drizzle. Uh, it, folks, this is a very minor element on the weather maps, but we do have a winter weather advisory from the National Weather Service. More details on that in a second. Near 40 degrees, though, Wednesday and Thursday. And then the next system uh, does arrive late Thursday, perhaps as early as late afternoon or evening sometime with patches of drizzle rather weak for us. Uh, a, a shower, rain shower later at night Thursday could transition to a few rain and snow showers Friday and then transitioning more so to plain flurries and snow showers Saturday, Sunday into Monday as an upper level low just spirals over the region. But look at this. I mean, it's just not that cold. We're going to be pushing our way well into mid January by the end of that seven day stretch and still no major Arctic outbreaks. And I don't see it for quite some time, though the back half to this month. Yes, as I've been talking, likely will be chillier than the first half. Still no obvious, uh, you know, uh, thoughts that we're going to get slammed with very cold weather. Uh, let's go to first things first, though. We've got these purple boxes, uh, the purple counties, and that's where the winter weather advisories did officially go into effect at 8 o'clock, but the atmosphere pretty dry right now. There is some freezing mist and drizzle out over Lake Michigan, not being detected as typically is the case. You don't really get it uh, showing up on the radars, so you've got to go to the very sensitive radars, which does not uh, show up on the ones we have on this system. So. Uh, you can anticipate some damp pavement if you're out in the overnight for whatever reason or up very early heading off to work. Look out. There could be some slippery stretches. Temperatures running in the upper 20s to around 30 degrees right along the lakeshore, though. We're already near the freezing mark, if not a degree or two higher. So I think the effects are very minimal, probably not any uh, in the Muskegon area and sections nearby there. But once you get inland, it is colder and I do think there will be some slippery spots. Look at all the clouds, though, through tomorrow uh, as we get into Wednesday. It's still going to be mainly cloudy around here. I don't see much prospect for sunshine, Derek, right through this seven day. But the good news is that if you don't want the big snows, I don't have that either. Here comes the system on Thursday, late day into the evening, maybe a shower or two. Uh, it's mainly just a big circulation that's going to have some hit and miss snow showers. This is the European model. The representation of the snow looks really widespread and s somewhat ominous, but it's, it's really going to be hit and miss just spotty activity right through the weekend. We'll see how it plays out, though. Sometimes the upper level lows, Derek, can throw down a heavier burst of snow here or there that you kind of got to now cast it with. We'd never be able to predict that, predict that out this far out. Uh, some light accumulations, though, on the table through the weekend. I'll have more coming up in just a bit. All right, Anthony, thank you for that, President.